Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky of the Third. Last time, we finished up, like, the worst door ever, and today, we're headed off to Moon Door number four for a really good story between Estelle and Joshua, so make sure that you have them in your party. Yeah, the girl who shines like the sun and the boy who cherishes her. I love it! Oh, it's such a nice welcome change from yesterday's door. It was just god awful. Oh, so bad. I wonder what um background information we're gonna get on these two. I mean, we've pretty much seen their entire story for the most part, I guess. Oh, okay. I mean, like they were pretty much the stars of the first two games, so. Oh. Is he practicing his harmonica? The first week? What's going on? Is everything alright? Oh, well, hey! A magician? Oh, okay. Huh, compensated by what? I somehow recall this, um, from the first game. Oh. Oh, it's little tiny Estelle, she's so cute! Oh, this is adorable. Yeah, we didn't really get to see them as little kids all that much. I mean, we've got little tiny bits here and there. Karen? Who's Karen? Huh. I don't know. Oh. What's that? Oh. That magician? Or Karen? Is Karen the magician? Oh, well, you recovered quickly. Unless you, like, passed out by this tree. Oh, and your little bandage is gone, too. So, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's kind of hiding from you. You can be a bit of a handful, Estelle. But I like it. She's so cute in her little dress and everything, and Josh was adorable too. Oh, I just want to squeeze him. Yeah, normally in JRPGs, I hate little kids. But, uh, these two? I love them because it's Joshua and Estelle, and they're my favorites. Oh, that is good. Oh. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Oh. Joshua seems a bit standoffish from Estelle. Yeah, go play. Oh. I don't know if he ever really got time to play as a child, though. He was kind of, um, bred to be an assassin. So, yeah. Probably doesn't even know what playing is. Oh, your foot's all messed up. Oh, well, that's no good. I guess that's why he's laying around by the tree. Oh, wow. Well, what makes you say that? Oh, huh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, okay. Like what? Oh, okay. Maybe some board games or cards or something? I don't know what he could do if he's an injured foot and like a bad head and all this. Oh, that's why he said it was dangerous. Yeah, he's thinking that Ouroboros is gonna, like, come after him. I guess he's only been here for, like, a day or two. Oh, hey there. That was quick. Well, what you got? Roly polies? Um, okay. I guess. I used to play with roly polies as a kid, too. Um,. That just goes to show that there wasn't really a whole hell of a lot to do in rural Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of run around in the woods, play with bugs, play in the lake, play on trees, you know. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. Fascinating childhood. It was a good childhood, but not a lot going on, I've got to say. It's pretty much how it got into RPGs, you know. I needed an escape. <laughs> What do you got? A monitor lizard? Holy crap! 
How'd you get a hold of a monitor lizard? Holy shit! Man! Oh. Joshua doesn't seem to like bugs, Estelle. Oh, well, not everybody likes bugs. I mean, yeah, seriously. Oh. Maybe she likes you. Maybe she's just a nice, innocent, sweet girl, you know? None of them. Uh, no? Ooh, especially no. Oh, shells. That'd be kind of nice. I don't know if webbed, if like, what bugs have webbed feet? It's like a duck or something. <laughs> Estelle's mind has been blown! He doesn't like bugs! Oh. Okay. Huh. I wonder what she's gonna go get. Maybe she'll go get, like, cute animals or something? Go get a dog or a cat or something? Get a pet? I don't know. Maybe some of her friends could come over. She must have friends or something. Was that a fairy? Oh, that must be a bug of some sort that she's going out to catch. Oh. Oh, yeah, that is kind of rough for him. But he doesn't like bugs! You can't force him to like bugs! Maybe you can get him a book or something. I don't know. Maybe he just wants to relax. He just wants to chill. Oh. Yeah, just kind of being able to, you know, collect your own thoughts and everything. And he's like, oh shit, she's back. <laughs> he is not happy. Seriously, come on, Estelle, get it through your head. No, she's not. Oh, really? Huh, that's odd. Yeah, most of the times the, um, the patterns on, like, moths and butterflies and all that are there for camouflage or to, like, make themselves look bigger, like giving them bigger eyeballs or something to make them more scary to their prey. But, um, not to look like humans. It's kind of... Weird. Estelle's having a lot of fun being as annoying as humanly possible to Joshua. And I love it. <laughs> yeah, he is not a happy camper. Oh, what's going on? Oh! Oh no! Yikes! Getting chased by all those human moths and everything. She's like, let's go! Get out of here! This reminds me of something else in Georgia. We had these horse flies. They were god awful. And they would go around, they would like just fly up to you and they'd bite you on the top of the head. They were vicious and they hurt like hell. And they always seemed to hang around the pool. Like all the time. It would be in the pool and you have to like go underwater to get away from these horse flies. It was terrible. But yeah, that just brought back some awful childhood memories there. Huh. Aww, she just wants to play. Just play with her. Apparently, she just has no friends. How does she not have any friends? Well, then again, she's not exactly living in town. She's kind of, you know, out in this rural cottage or whatever. Um, and considering he did just get over a fever, and you're the one who dragged him into the water, Estelle. Great. Just great. Oh, more fishing. I can't wait. <laughs> Well, at least Estelle likes to fish. Me, not so much. Oh, you don't have anything in the fridge or something in the cupboard or something? Like some bread and cheese or jam or butter or something? I mean, I don't really know what they have in this era. I guess it wouldn't have refrigeration, but then again, with horrible technology, they might. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't Daddy be getting, like, the biggest one? And you be getting, like, the smallest one? Because, you know, Joshua's sick and he needs some, you know, some nutrition. Oh. Well, what's going on, Joshua? Well, it's her father. Oh. Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, maybe Cassius just wants this to Estelle to, you know, have her innocence? There's nothing wrong with being an innocent child. But I guess Joshua wants her to know all the evils of the world and everything and to be scared all the time? Like, that's awful. No, let her enjoy her childhood. She's just so innocent and cute and sweet. 
Oh. Why don't you go help her fish? You're just sitting there anyway. You might as well. What was that? The bugs are back or something? Oh. oh, it is rather nice, I must say. It's pretty. Oh, hey. Awesome. Why couldn't I get a big fish in that last door? Oh, yeah. I got screwed over with baby fish then, too. <laughs> Awful. Okay. Well, I guess I got a little bit of bonding done in the first week, not a whole hell of a lot. I mean, he would barely even talk to her. And who are you? Oh. Huh. I guess these are uh, Estelle's friends. Oh, yeah, that is true. Oh. Huh. Where could she possibly be? Oh, look, she's sitting over by that tree right there on the right. I see her. You can see her ponytail right now by the tree on the right. Yeah, you could see her entire character sprite actually sitting there whenever it panned out. But the game wants you to think that she's not there. I don't know why it does this, but whatever. Oh, wow. These girls are morbid. Whoa. I don't think I ever talked about death like this whenever I was a kid. Holy crap. But then again, there weren't monsters roaming about whenever I was a child either. Um, she's like right there. She's like literally ten feet to your right. You can see her ponytail. Why are you lying, Joshua? She's right there. Literally. Right there. Come on now. Seriously, game? Seriously? Am I like going crazy here? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's right. I I Wait. You are by the tree! What the hell? Where did you come from? What the hell, game? This makes no sense. <laughs> uh, just a little thing. I'll go with it. Whatever. So Estelle wasn't by the tree, even though she totally was by the tree. Oh, it's uh, her brother. Oh. Oh, well, that is kind of true, gotta say. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, yeah, Joshua was thinking that maybe they were part of Ouroboros or something. Like, you know, trying to look for him. No kidding, they're just stupid girls, you know. Oh, well, you know, he's uh, my brother. <laughs> he gave him me like a, as a present. What the hell? <laughs> you can't just give people away. That's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, that's kind of true. Oh. Well, I guess your foot's feeling better now. He wants none of this. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna listen. I don't think it works that way. Oh. Wow. He, like, really hates her. Holy crap. What's your problem, Joshua? Wow, this is like a cliché right of reality show. Man. Oh. Well, I guess, you know, staying here is better than, um, going out and fighting for your life and being an assassin and everything. You just kind of chill and relax. Oh, that is, well, hopefully she won't get hurt, but, I mean, it could. I guess, you know, if Warbors, whoa, does go after him, she could get hurt in the crossfire. Or she could take care of herself. Wow. <laughs> She's letting him have it. Holy crap. You know, he just kind of ended up on your doorstep, like, all injured and battered and bruised, and holy crap. Estelle, you're gonna kill him. Man. Like, leave the poor guy alone. <laughs> Man, Joshua does not like any of them. Doesn't like Estelle or those two little girls. Aww. That's okay, Estelle. You be my big sister anytime. I don't have a sister. I would like a sister. Be nice. But no such luck. Didn't work out that way. Just two brothers. So what's going on now? So sleepover or something? A panty party? 
Oh, no. Oh, well, some sort of... Wait, is she sleeping on a chair? Oh. She likes you. She wants to make sure that you're okay. Although, I don't understand why you're not, you know, sharing the same bed, or why she doesn't have her own bed. You would think that Cassius would be able to afford two beds. I mean, he was like... A star bracer, and now he's in the army, and he can only afford one bed. Come on, he has this nice house and everything. Oh, there's Cassius. Hey, how you doing? Ooh, I love Cassius's hair. Not really a fan of the mustache, but nice hair. Hmm, no. He could slit her throat in her sleep. That could work. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, I guess, but then again, you know, she's innocent. Because he wants to keep her innocent? I mean, if I had a kid, I don't have any kids, but if I did, I would want to, I would want to keep them as innocent as humanly possible for as long as possible. Oh, yeah. You don't even know if there's a bed in there? Seriously? <laughs> well, she's just being, you know, a normal kid. That's just what kids do. Oh, why do you say that? Oh, really? Oh, blow his mind. Yeah, she just wants to have fun. She wants to have a good time. I like it. Okay. Oh, yeah, she is pretty much a tomboy, I've got to say. Oh. Well, he's still a kid, too. Oh. Oh. Wow. Some father figure you are. But then again, I mean, I guess he is just letting Joshua choose his own way. But to me, it's rather obvious the, the right way to choose, you know? You stay here. You grow up, you have a nice, normal life. Or you go out on the road and you're like an assassin. Like, that's awful. No. Just stay here. You have a loving family. What does Joshua want? Well, he doesn't want a Stell in his life. Eh. Huh. What's going on now? Everything alright? Oh, well, yeah, I just said that. Oh, well, great. Not that Estelle, uh, helped matters by kicking him in his back and then jumping on him. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, where to now? Oh, the prison farm. Okay, so those girls that were there, well, not both of them, but one of the girls was actually from this farm. The other one lived over in Relent. Uh, yeah. Every time I see the the name Tia, it reminds me of Grandia. That, like, robot girl in Grandia, you know? I loved Grandia. Oh, man, I would love to play that game. Oh, I haven't played it in years, but it's, like, my favorite. I love it. Oh, help on the farm. Oh, okay, help for the farm harvest. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, you know, more hands make light work? You got nothing else to do. Your real hillbilly process. <laughs> yeah, it's a rehabilitation, not hillbilly. But this, I mean, it is a farm, but yeah, no. <laughs> um, kind of, sort of, maybe? Oh, well, no problem. Glad to help. It's not like Estelle has anything else to do, she might as well. I love how all these people who are around don't know that, you know, it, it's been several weeks, so at least a couple of months, and they're like, oh, this, oh, she has a brother? Just all of a sudden? I know that Cassius' wife is dead, and he's not exactly dating anybody else, let alone, like, where did this kid just come from? And everybody just takes it. They're like, okay with it. Oh, sure, it's it's Estelle's little brother. Sure, whatever. Like, no one, like, asks about it, like, where he actually came from. It's just odd to me. Oh. 
Oh, but then again, you had twins this time. Oh, wow. Wouldn't you, like, uh, you know, put her in the crib and let her go to sleep or something? Oh, yeah, I guess so. And, you know, you just had a baby. You might want to rest. Oh, yeah, sure. Her younger brother. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I know he's, like, you know, ten years old or whatever, but sure, this younger brother who bops out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, I guess he is still, um, a bit injured. Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Oh. Okay. Oh, and what's your bright idea? Can't wait for this one. Okay, I'm still waiting on the bright idea, though. <laughs> yeah, they sat on him with the babies. That's cute. Okay. Well, they don't know that he's an assassin, and he is injured, so... I guess it makes sense for him to watch the kids. The girls will do all the work. Sounds perfect. I approve. What's going on? What's... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Everything's fine. Uh, more than likely. Hmm. Eh. More than likely, yeah. Pretty much. But that's like a blessing in disguise. Um, your memories? Oh, hey Estelle, what's going on? No, not really, you always talk a lot. Oh. Sure. Oh, well, that's nice. I planted some eggplants last year, and they all died. But I do have some carrots out this year. They're like purple carrots. They're really cool. Um, I planted, I don't know, like 20 of them, and they're, they're actually harvesting really well. So, yeah. But no more eggplants, because they don't work in Nevada. But root vegetables, yeah, they work pretty damn well. Onions, potatoes, carrots, all those are doing really well here. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess he knows first aid from, you know, being out in the world and everything. Oh. He's trying to help you! You know, it's not like Joshua asked for you to give him bugs every single day either. Like, he's trying to do a good deed, God forbid. This is how people bond, Estelle. It's not just one-sided. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how Joshua just happens to have disinfectant on him, so it's like in his back pocket or something, like seriously. Eh, well maybe he, you know, carried around um, healing items and stuff, you know, whenever he was a um, an assassin and everything, so he's just used to carrying it around. Yeah, go back and uh, keep on harvesting. I'll deal with the kids. Oh, he seems pretty good with kids. Well, that's nice. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. There's a lot of work to get done on this farm, so get to it, Estelle. never get enough of this harmonica. I love it. It's so cool. I love it. I love the song and everything. It brings back so many, so many memories and everything. Oh, well, you've only known her for like a month now. Whoa. Wow. Let a boy have some secrets. Man, no kidding. What's your problem, Estelle? Holy crap. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello! What's that? And who are you? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky of the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.